Ballarat Grammar is widely known for its musical program. Two of its annual events showcase its musical talent. The first being Grammar in Concert, and the second being the school production, which this year takes the form of The Adam Family. School productions provide an opportunity for many students, in this case senior students predominantly, to perform on a great stage, such as the Wendery Centre for Performing Arts. Grammar in Concert dates all the way back to the 70s, when Alan Woodard, the first director of the music at Coeducational Grammar, held concerts to demonstrate the talent and work put in by students at the school. These concerts were not as large as they are now, but they were still very important yearly events. This year, with near to two hours of performance, Grammar and Concert is larger than ever thought possible. I guess they've been happening for a long time. I've been here 16 years, so since 1999, certainly I guess the format in which you see the concert now has uh, begun to develop into what it is today. With close to 150 students involved in this year's Grammar and Concert, it is clear that Grammar takes pride in its music program. They have been preparing for this event since the beginning of the year and had been working intently for the past two and a half months before the event. Of course we've got some students who might perform in four or even five ensembles and in fact some of our staff also uh, contribute or conduct or direct these ensembles. While there are other concerts during the school year, Grammar and Concert is the most formal and is by far the largest and is something that the ensembles and individual students aim towards as a long-term goal throughout the whole year. Ms Parry, Georgia Parry, was involved in directing four ensembles at this particular concert. Um, this year I didn't actually direct any of those, but in past years I might have done four or five myself and occasionally play in ensembles as well. Grammar and Concert is rivaled in both size, effort by students and entertainment by the annual Grammar Musical. This year, the grammar students will be performing The Adams Family by Marshall Brickman and Rick Ellis, a play that has only recently had amateur rights released. I think it, the, the, the Adams Family itself was a production, uh, a show that was known to so many. The director, Ms Sabalico, has utilised the musical ability of the grammar students, with students taking on the roles of actors, dancers, makeup artists, backstage helpers and musicians. Mr. Balico began administration preparation early term one and had completed casting by the end of term one. It takes a lot of preparation. Um, we start at the start of the year with auditions and rehearsals um, and every Friday there's um, singing practice and every Thursday there's dance practice. And it takes a lot of effort. <laughs> yeah. Since term two, they have been rehearsing and developing the musical with about 10 staff assisting students, close to 55 students in the cast, around 20 students behind the scenes working on sets and costumes, and around 20 students and staff working the ensemble. An opportunity for students who enjoy the arts to come together because theatre uh, combines all of the arts, visual arts, performing arts, music, dance. Grammar and Concert was held on the 21st of June during week 9 of term 2, and the Adams Family Musical was performed July 17th to 19th, week 1 of term 3. If you missed either one, fret not, for next year, Grammar will be holding Grammar in Concert again, and they will have a new performance just as big as the Adams Family Musical for you to enjoy. Students and staff of Ballard Grammar demonstrate their commitment and skill to the musical program with events such as Grammar in Concert and the Adams Family Production. This year has been extraordinarily successful, and this is no surprise considering the amount of talent and persistence shown by the people of Ballarat Grammar. This is Zeke Singer with Ballarat Grammar News. Goodbye.